Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, I'm Daniel and welcome to the Joao Almeida Pro Cyclist mode here on PCM 2020 and today, I don't know if we are going to have a packed episode or not but let's just go to the calendar because we have the Tour of Luxembourg right here, 5 stages that we are going to have, some hilly stages and uh, it seems that it appeared here on my calendar, the World Championships and I don't know if I'm going to be in it or not. I don't know if I'm going to be in it, but if I will, of course, I will go to show you. If not, then I will not bother. But then we have these two uh, flat classics, so maybe I'm not going to show these ones because it's not for us. We are just in it for the sake of it. And we have Milan Torino and Tour of Guangxi. So maybe if we are not having the World Championships, I'm going to show you the Tour of Luxembourg and Milan Torino today. And for the final episode of this season, I'm going to show you a tour of Guangxi and the, the resume of the season. So yeah, in this tour of Luxembourg, let's see who are our teammates. And it seems that we are the leaders here with David Ballerini, Cavagna, Tim De Klerk, Mikhail Morkov, Stimo, and this guy that I don't know who it is. It is a sprinter. So yeah, I'm just going to show you maybe on this tour the 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 crucial stages so yeah maybe I'm not going to show you everything to be to be a shorter episode for you guys so yeah this first one it is a time trial maybe I'm not going to show you just the results so let's go right away into it and so guys after this time trial we are the first one we won it with 11 seconds ahead of Patrick Bevin so here it is we are the new leader of this race and uh, what a win on this short time trial it was just four kilometers and uh, we had an objective of winning the stage so we did that as well so that is amazing of course it's very good to see Joao Maida on yellow right away let's try to keep this until the end and so now we have the second stage of Tour of Luxembourg it seems there is a flat stage so if nothing happens I'm just going to show the results once again for them to go to the hilly stages and now Berto Danese is the winner for this stage ahead of Danny Van Popel and Sasha Modolo from our team Mikhail Murkov is the better one on the 4th position and João Meda on the 11th position so we maintain our leader jersey with 11 seconds ahead of Patrick Bevin so yeah let's go now into stage number 3 and so stage number 3 it is a hilly stage as you can see and he finishes uphill and we have some climbs before that so yeah, it's going to be tricky, we need to be careful for attacks, in the beginning of the stage we have an intermediate sprint, so I'm going right away for that sprint to gain some um, bonus seconds, that will be crucial, so yeah, let's go right away into it. And so guys, here we are, start of the stage, I'm going right away for the uh, intermediate sprint, and uh, I have the objective of winning this stage, so let's see what can I do, it's going to be very tricky to win this, but... I mean, we never know, let's try to do that, let's sprint now with João Almeida, stop with my teammate, and yet maximum point for us, so we gain a couple seconds, which is always good, and uh, yeah, let's go now into the next bit of the stage. And so guys, here we are on the last 20 kilometers of the stage, uh, at least 20 kilometers for the breakaway, they are still a bit ahead of us and as we are trying to catch them on, we are now on the last 20 for us and we have this last hill uh, with points for the mountains and it is very very demanding this hill so yeah maybe I will put a rhythm just to get ahead of these guys and uh, try to get closer to the guys on the breakaway so yeah let's try to do that so here we are on the climb, Cavagna is putting a rhythm and we catch some guys of the breakaway but we are still more than one minute behind the breakaway here we are 1 minute 24 the guy up front so we have less than 15 kilometers to go let's see if I can catch this guy because it's in danger for us of course come on and the, the climb is already passed through us and uh, then it is uphill until the finish line basically and Cavagna doing a fantastic job we are still 12 kilometers to go so we need to be a bit careful with that and the guy is right here uh, in front of us so I don't think he's going for the win only 8 guys here at the front so yeah let's try to rest a little bit with Cavagna and see what the guys are doing here 
Oh my God, come on. And the, the, the guy up front has just gained a little lead and now Alex Camp is attacking. Let's try to do something here with Ballerini. And João Meda just going to follow it. Come on, I don't want to waste this. Come on, damn it. Let's hope that I didn't mess up this. And Alex Camp is gone. Oh my God. I don't want to bottle this up. Come on, come on. This is it guys, last 10 kilometers, some attacks are happening right now, but I'm not going for the attacks, I'm just going to put a pace now with Ballerini, and this is it, just help you until the finish line, let's see if Ballerini can put us on a good position, let's go, Ballerini giving everything he's got, we are 3 kilometers to go, maybe I'll just go with João Meda myself to put a pace, come on João, let's see if that is possible, because this is help you, and João Meda has a lot of energy, so come on, we are doing that so far and we are going away, can we do it, one and a half kilometers to go still, come on João, and now one kilometer, but I'm not going to sprint, I'm just going at my, oh my god, maybe I just was too late to the sprint, let's see, can I win it, can I do it, I know it is for Lilian Kaumeja and João made it just on the second place behind him, very close in the end, but it was a very good fight and João Meda keeps his yellow jersey. And so guys, in the end, maybe it was not the best tactic that um, I do. And so guys, in the end, maybe I should attack earlier, I don't know, but it is what it is. We came on second place and uh, we are still with yellow jersey and we even gained time on everyone else besides Squins and Kaumajan. So now we, have six, now we have 16 seconds on Kaumajan and the other guys are... Uh, uh, more than 30 seconds so it's a good thing and uh, yep looking good for us so far and uh, let's continue like this and uh, we are very close to get a level up because we are getting a lot of points for the jerseys that we have and the, um, the objective that we are doing of course this time we didn't win the stage which is a poor thing but still we are so close to level up and again stage number four a hilly stage it finishes uphill once again so again, let's see if we are on a good day and just go for that final climb and try to win it. Once again, we have the objective of winning the stage and we have a zero resting condition today, so not the best in terms of yesterday's stage, but still, let's try and win it. And so guys, here we are on the last 23 kilometers of the, the, the stage and as you can see, we are on the penultimum climb, this is the same climb as the finish line, so it is a fairly big, over 4 kilometers of climbing I believe, so yeah, maybe, I don't know what to do, but it seems there are some attacks already, I need to be careful, but yeah, I'm going to try to put a pace after this climb, so that on downhill I have the perfect placement for then on the final climb just put a pace myself and try to win it. And so guys here we are on the last 10 kilometers of the race. I just have three guys, just two teammates with me. And uh, soon we'll start the last climb of the stage. And uh, yeah, let's see what can I do. I'm pushing a little bit too hard maybe, I don't know. But yeah. We have Cavagna working for Morkov and then João Maida as we are entering the last 5 kilometers now so maybe let's use the energy gel or not yet maybe I don't know but yeah let's use it Cavagna let's continue like this and then Mikhail Morkov is going entering and already I think it's time for Morkov to enter maybe just push a little bit Cavagna there we go and now Morkov for the final climb just going to push himself very hard here, see if I can do some damage on the peloton. Come on, Murkov. But the attacks are already happening, but they are not too effective. And Kalmeja on my wheel, of course, and he's attacking. So let's push it with Murkov a little bit. I don't care if it is 99, I just want to follow these guys. Come on. And we are already on the last kilometer, almost John Maida, you need to do something. So let's start the sprint with João Almeida and maybe, oh my god, I don't know if it is too soon the sprint but can we do it, João Almeida is in the front and João Almeida all alone is going to be the winner of the stage number 4 of Tour of Luxembourg ahead of Tom Squins and uh, Lilian Kaumeja and Timo Rosen, so yeah, 
we basically I think we solidify our win here on Tour of Luxembourg great win by João Maida and so guys another victory for us which is very good we did the objective that is won the stage and now we have 26 seconds ahead of Lilian Kaumajan and 27 of Tom Scoins which is fantastic of course and on the points we are first and on the white jersey as well so I think this is looking good for us on this race and look at that we are so so close to get the level up 21 points that we gain on this stage but I think the next one we are going to level up to level 23 for sure now the last stage of Tour of Luxembourg it seems a flat stage Let's see what's going to happen if nothing happens of uh, crucial for the, the general classification. I'm just going to show you the results and uh, see if we can get the victory. And so guys, here we are already on the last 20 kilometers of the stage and uh, this is not that easy of a stage. As you can see, we have a little climb on the end. It's short but very steep. I think it is just on the last kilometer, so yeah. For sure I'm going to try to do something, I don't know what, but I'm just going to be in front of the peloton in case we can do something. And here we are guys, last 5 kilometers of the stage, let's use the energy gel. And uh, yeah, uh, I need, I don't know what to do, I'm just going to follow a wheel basically with Mikhail Murkov. And then uh, João Maia on the last kilometer wheel, try to do something with him. Let's try to change the wheels to be in front. Come on, Markov. And yep, and already this guy from Bora Arsgan is putting a great rhythm. Let's maybe just put a rhythm with the Markov as well, just for the sake of being in a good position. And oh my god, they're already launching the attack, but why the hell are they sprinting? But okay, let's just go now with Markov. At 99, Joao Maida, can you follow it? But Murkov is not good enough, damn it. And Van Popo is very far ahead already, so maybe I need to sprint as well and I'm not going to do it, damn it. It was too late for me to go and Van Popo with a great sprint in the end of... He just got the win and uh, João Almeida on the second position, a third position, no, fourth place for João Almeida just, but that is okay, that's not the problem really. We are the winner of this race and we have three jerseys with us, I believe, so it's awesome. And here we have it, guys. Danny Van Popo is the winner of this stage. João Meda on the fourth place. So, yeah, we did a fantastic job on this tour of Luxembourg, winning the yellow jersey by 26 seconds ahead of Lilian Kalmajan, which is fantastic, of course. The best climb classification is not for us, it's for a guy from Arkea Samsic, but we have the point classification, 95 points, and the, the white jersey ahead of Dorian Godon from uh, AG2R, 47 seconds. So, three jerseys for us, it's amazing result in the end. And so guys, as I said before, this was the stage that we were getting a level up and we gained 57 points, so that is amazing, of course. And here we have another skill point spend, it's not a um, attributes upgrade, but still it's a skill point and on level 24 we have another skill point. And so I'm going to spend the, the skill point on training to get a maximum level of training so that my tiredness is reduced to 80%, which means we are going to have a much better preparation throughout the whole season, which is great of course. And so guys, it seems that we are going to ride the World Championships, at least the individual time trial, as you can see. João Meda and Nelson Oliveira are the guys from Portugal to ride this time trial, and we have a fitness peak, so we are not the favorites, but let's see what can we do here. And so guys, here we are, João Meda is about to start his individual time trial on these World Championships for Portugal. This is amazing, really. Come on, Joel, let's give everything you got. And we have a plus five days, so that is amazing. And so here we are approaching the first checkpoint of this individual time trial, and uh, I have some energy spared to, to spend, and I'm taking this in consideration the last climb, but let's see now. We are third, nine seconds behind the first one on this intermediate checkpoint, but what's matter is the final climb, 
and there are a lot of guys to to rise still so let's not get ahead of ourselves let's just try to do this the best way possible and this is it guys the last five kilometers of the race and we have this last climb the last four kilometers so let's give everything we got we have a lot of energy to do the climb come on Joao it's now it's time to shine and to to do a big effort and let's see if we can get this thing right and Joao Meda now almost on the last kilometer and I'm losing a lot of energy maybe I, I overdo it a little bit damn it I just went too too hard on the, the climb and now I'm out of energy already damn it I'm going to lose a lot of time now this is not what I wanted really this, this last kilometer I'm losing really a lot of time we have Alberto Betio as well doing and we are on the first place ahead of Miguel Angel Lopez, 48 seconds, what a time trial by João Almeida really, let's see if we can hang on this result because we have Nelson Oliveira on the road as well, let's see. And so guys, in the end we just lost for Chris Froome by 7 seconds, oh my god, we were so close to do it, that last climb I just was very excited and the... Uh, and I just overdo it for a little bit I believe and yeah we were so so close to win it really damn it we can be the new world champion of time throw but we are not second place it's very good as well unlucky but so guys I'm going to leave it here for this episode I think this is a very good episode so far next episode we're going to have hopefully the world race of um, the world championships if you are in it and then Milan Torino a uh, very hilly classic and of course tour of Guangxi to finish off the season and then we're going to take a look of the overall of the season so yeah I hope you like this episode it was a very good one we are almost we're almost almost the new individual time trial world champion but so unlucky really but yeah don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe Stay safe. Bye-bye.